We're back. Peace in. Peace in. So uh, it's 827, 19, or 1920, 2020. And this is number 25. And, uh, and I have gushers. Yeah, we have new gushers. New. That's the most important news. Probably fresh. And are they soft? I don't know. Kind of. I kind of like them when they're soft and gooey and then they gush. So today's rule, I want to talk about speak less, listen more. Now, you just said something interesting. You said that's hard for you. Why do you, what, what's hard about that? Tell me about it. I speak a lot. When you speak a lot? You know what causes you to speak a lot? No. No? I mean, people, you're right. People have, some people speak a lot. Some people speak less. And um, some people talk when they're nervous or anxious. Some people have to talk when they feel sad or upset. Um, some people talk a lot because they like to be the center of attention or they want to control the situation. Um, it just really depends. People speak for a lot of different reasons. I try not to want to be the center of attention. I think that's the thing, though. You think so? Yeah, yeah most likely. It's hard not to sometimes, isn't it? And sometimes people, this is when you get to be, when you have too much education and you think you know things, sometimes I could be guilty of thinking I know everything and I speak too much that people don't really want to hear. <laughs> Probably kind of like these things sometimes if I'm not careful. So, yeah, I think the center of attention thing, that's tough at school, isn't it? Yeah. Because who want, in your class, who wants to be the center of attention? A lot of people. Yeah? And who, who wants to be the center of attention the most? Me. <laughs> Other than you. The teacher. The teacher. That's what I'm thinking. The teacher. Because he or she needs to be the center of attention so they can communicate. But I want to communicate as well. Yeah, you, you know what? And there's nothing wrong with wanting to communicate. You just have to make sure that you are not distracting from what the teacher is communicating. Be a helper to the teacher. So here's what I got. Speak and listen in a balanced way. So if you can balance out how much you speak and how much you listen, that will help. Now, I think we've talked about my prayer of St. Francis up there on the wall. Yeah, we have like... A long time ago, right? Like in the fifth episode. Yeah. And um, one of the things that that says is that something like help me seek to understand rather than being understood. And I think that's really at the heart of what I'm talking about here. That if I can focus on listening and understanding more than speaking and trying to be understood. But you know what? That is very hard. Especially, do you know what impulsivity is? Yes. Especially if you have a hard time putting your brakes on. I do. With ADHD is often it's hard to put your brakes on. So before you know it, you've spoken. It's flown out of your mouth before you've even stopped to think about it. So, what does that next thing there say? Can you read my writing? Think before I speak. Speak meaningfully. Yep. Yeah. Think before I speak. Yeah. And what I, yeah, speak meaningfully or other people won't listen. You know what I mean by that? Even though I speak nonsense like this time. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what you have to be careful of. If you speak too much nonsense, people start tuning you out. I mean, and my friends, like half the class doesn't tune me out, though. Oh, yeah? They can't. I'm too loud. <laughs> my dear grandson. <laughs> it gets you in trouble, does it not? Sometimes. Yeah, no kidding. I don't want that for you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, then I have listen, listen, listen. Don't jump to conclusions. What if you, what if you listened 75% of the time and spoke 25% of the time? It's, you, you could, it's the other way around. Think you could, but you think you could change it? Maybe, maybe half the time. Yeah, half and half. Half and half sounds like it would be an improvement. 
I talk like 90% of the time. Yeah, see, and here's what I have over here. On the other side, I have, you got to look at the situation. Maybe it's not on the other side. You got to look at the situation and at school, listen 90% of the time, talk 10% of the time. So you have it backwards. You think? Maybe. Maybe? Yeah. Um, but in order to, to deal with that, you have to choose to be quiet. Don't right. cry. <laughs> I have to speak about what is important. Don't control the situation. Don't seek to be the center of attention. Just don't talk to hear yourself talk. I do that. Is what I have to say important or just noise? It's always noise. It's just... I mean, speaking is noisy or can be. Have you ever spent time with somebody and not talked? No. Ooh. Let's try something. Ooh, we got a long one going. <laughs>